Hi guys, welcome back to Fairies Tutorials. In today's episode, we'll be looking at food, nutrition and health, planning meals for different groups and we'll be exploring planning meals for adolescents. Stay tuned. Section 3 meal planning preparation and dining and in today's episode we're looking at content 6 which is entitled meal planning for different groups and today we'll be exploring adolescents now let's take a look at our focus points so we'll be looking at an overview of adolescents where we'll understand who are the particular persons that make up this group right We'll also be exploring the nutrient requirements for the adolescent, the adolescent female, and also the athletic adolescents. Now, let us kick things off with looking at the overview of adolescents. So now we're looking at some general information or we're describing the group of uh, adolescents, right? Now, adolescent is a period of rapid growth and body development and nutrient requirements increased at this stage. Now, let us look at why nutrient requirements may increase at this stage. So, hormones for adulthood start to be produced during adolescence. They may cause skin disturbances, so persons may have acne. So, adolescents should eat plenty of fresh foods and vegetables and avoid fatty foods which can aggravate these conditions, right? Now, we're going to look in detail and explore some additional nutritional needs for adolescents. And remember that adolescents is another name for who? Teenagers. Awesome. Now, there are several factors that can determine the nutritional requirements for adolescent period, right? This stage is one of rapid growth and in most cases, heightened activity. The following nutrients must be included in the diet of an adolescent, right? And the first nutrient that we're looking at is carbohydrates. Now, what is the main function of carbohydrates, guys? This is needed to provide energy, especially for active or athletic teenagers. And further on in today's session, we'll be looking at uh, some other additional nutrients that the, adult, the athletic teenager or the athletic adolescent may require, right? There is also the need for protein. And this nutrient promotes growth and repair body tissues and it also is a secondary source of energy good now the diet should provide sufficient protein and sufficient iron as well why is iron important to adolescents can you tell iron is important for girls to prevent anemia developing on the onset of menstruation good so also about 45 percent of the adult sized skeleton forms during adolescence so plenty of calcium rich foods and vitamin d should be eaten as well so a particular question may ask you why is it that uh, adolescents may require calcium yes very important for strong bones and teeth, which we, which we know and is most commonly known. But it's also important for us to mention that the adult, 45% of the adult size skeleton forms during the teenage years or during the adolescent years. Good? All right, let us move on. Now, iron is needed to help in the increase of red blood cells and muscle tissues and for growth of bones, good? Especially for female adolescents or female teenagers, we know why iron is of utmost importance during that stage as it, as it is the onset. This is where menstruation uh, will take place. So they need to replenish that blood supply and also aids in 
muscle tissue as well. Good. Now, there's also the need for zinc, right? Very important mineral that is needed for growth and formations of new tissues. And some of these tissues that are found in the body are what? Connective tissue, muscle tissue, and nervous tissue, and also epithelial tissue as well. Good. Now, calcium and vitamin D, as we said before, are needed for the growth of the skeleton. As we said that 45% of the adult size skeleton is developed during the adolescent years. Now guys, let us look at the nutritional needs for the adolescent female. Now we briefly brushed on a few when we were looking at the needs of adolescents in general, but let us look at the defined needs of the adolescent female, right? So they would be exper experiencing growth spurts as this time, therefore, calcium would be required for building and strengthening bones. No growth in height and expansion of hips requires calcium for expansion of bone structure. Also critical for delaying or preventing the onset of osteoporosis. And this is a condition where the bones become porous and brittle because a lack of calcium or vitamin D may be in the body. All right. Also, Encourage iron-rich foods to meet the increased needs for menstruating females to replace iron loss in blood and for males for their muscle mass to be developed, right? So for the adolescent males, they need, also need iron so that they can develop muscle mass. Now, good sources of iron include beef and pork, shellfish, poultry, iron-fortified cereals and breads, legumes, dried fruits, and also dark green leafy vegetables, as well as vitamin C, very important, and it is found in many fruits and vegetables, and what vitamin C does is to, awesome, to enhance the absorption of iron, especially from the plant source, or we may say from the non-heme, um, iron sources which are from the plant sources good now let us look at the nutritional needs for the ad athletic adolescents good now energy intake for athletic adolescents should provide adequate support for growth and development needs while maintaining the desired energy expenditure for exercise and performance goals right so very important that the energy needs are supplied and these are supplied from which nutrients? Carbohydrates, right? So that they can meet their performance goals so they will have as much energy to carry out their training, their sporting activities, good? Now, adolescents should be encouraged to adjust carbohydrate intake to match daily energy demands. Both protein and carbohydrates are very important for recovery after training and competition. So after the basketball game, after the football game, the soccer, the baseball, the track and field, right? So nutritious food choices provide a great recovery option such as milk-based drinks, yogurts with fruit, or a meat and salad roll. Very important too that they keep hydrated and consume uh, fluids that are fortified with uh, a range of vitamins and minerals. Good. Now, fat intake should be in accordance with public health guidelines, which suggests that fat should contribute 20 to 35% of total energy intake with no more than 10% of total energy coming from saturated fats, right? Examples such as meat, dairy, fried fruits, processed foods, such as biscuits. Now, saturated fats, even though fat is important, we still have to consider the type of fat which will give the athletic adolescents because, you know, saturated fats 
are more harmful to the body, right? Those are the bad fats. So that is why they should be no more than 10% of the diet. Now, if an, if an athletic adolescent or if an athlete is finding it difficult to meet their energy needs, increasing the unsaturated fat contents of the diet can help address this issue due to its energy density. So we're speaking about preparing the meal with olive oil, uh, including nuts in their diet, avocado, and salmon. Those are sources of unsaturated fat, and those are more are a healthier option than the saturated fats. Good. Now, calcium requirements for adolescent athletes are no different from that of non-active adolescents. However, requirements are greater than that of the adults and that that is because of due to the growth spurt right now most vitamin d is obtained through exposure to sunlight rather than through dietary sources athletes should monitor vitamin d status or status and correction through supplementation may be necessary to ensure optimal performance and the maintenance of bone health because if they're physically active the bones have, have has to be strong as well so you may find out that they may have to consume also products that are fortified and enriched with vitamin d right now let us look at some tips for healthy eating in teens right so invite teens to help plan menus, grocery shopping, choose new foods, find healthy recipes, and also to help clean up after meals. Encourage teens to make their own snacks and meals like breakfast. Watch for signs of an eating disorder, extreme concern or fear about the body weight and shape right so some teens may refuse to eat right they may engage in excessive exercising laxative abuse where they force themselves to uh export whatever they are taking in their body by induced vomiting or taking taking laxatives so that they can pass it out uh, uh by having diarrhea right and also vomiting after me. So we have to look out for concerns of anorexia nervosa and also bulimia nervosa, right? So anorexia nervosa is an eating order where teenagers, mostly affect teenagers or females, female, especially persons who are in the modeling industry, right? So they refuse to eat uh, the calories that should maintain their bodies right while some persons just eat and then they take laxative which is bulimia force themselves to throw up so we have to look out for those things within the teenage years those are problems that affect teenagers and so forth we have to think about tips for helping them to eat healthy all right now for your question on your exam you may get to plan a breakfast a lunch for a teenager and so it may be it may specify the type of adolescent or teenager it may be it may specify that the person is athletic or female teenager so or just the adolescent right so whichever meal that you get to plan whether it be breakfast lunch or dinner it is very important for you to follow the standards of writing a breakfast menu and also the standard of writing a lunch or dinner menu right so for the breakfast you know you that what we'll think about all those nutrients that we think we just thought of and their sources in order to plan an adequate meal right so we include fruit or fruit juice Remember, we spoke of, say, for instance, we're planning for the adolescent female, right? So for breakfast, we could have what? Orange juice. For the cereals, we could have a fortified um, cereal, right? Ready to cook, ready to eat cereal, sorry. Or we may have um, cornmeal that is enriched with vitamin um, A or D, right? For protein, remember, we go for easy to cook protein. But in this case, if we're planning for adolescent females you know that would need an iron source right 
as well. So we could probably do liver or kidneys or uh, for the carbohydrates, you know, that uh, it may be a quick bread or ground provisions, depending on the culture, and also hot beverage. Now, a lunch and dinner menu is very much similar as a one course menu, but what makes a dinner different is the type of products that we select and if we have a lunch within that day and also the different courses. So, you know, that dinner menus can have more than one courses maybe a two course right three four right but in this case if you ask for a lunch you know you need to include your protein item your carbohydrates and your vegetables and of course you know beverage is always optional but if we're planning it is nice for us to include a beverage especially a vitamin c beverage if we have iron listed there in the menu right now there's also questions on you uh questions that are there for you to plan foods based on a multi-mix principle now this is normally done for toddlers but just in case you get it for an adolescent you know it's the same principles that apply right so you know a double mix would consist of what which food group would have to have staples as a must in all the groups and then you may add legumes or you may have staples and food from animals as it relates to triple mix we may have staples legumes food from animals or stapled food from animals and vegetables and for the quadruple mix you know we use the four food groups which are staples legumes food from animals and vegetables so those are four food groups that are normally used within the multi-mix principle right fat is not included because guess what we can get fat from food from animals, right? So, and also fruits are not included as well because the vitamins and minerals that we get from the vegetables would suffice, right? So the multi-mix principle only uses four food groups of which staples is always a constant, right? So we have to have staples in there and then we add the other food groups based on the amount of mixes that you're required to plan now we're at our questions right plan a nutritionally adequate menu for an adolescent female four marks minerals though required in small amounts are essential for normal functioning of the body explain two ways in which calcium is important to adolescent females good Based on the tutorial, you should be able to answer this question. And finally, explain two ways in which iron is important to adolescent females. Two marks. And it is very important to note, guys, that these questions are all past paper questions. You are awesome. You've made it to the end of the video. Please remember to subscribe, like, Turn on your post notification bells so you can be notified when there is another upload. Most importantly, share with persons who you know will find this information useful. Thank you for making it very tutorial.